Right, so we are starting with some small things today, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. So we're going to start by using this thing and some dental floss. Now we're using the dental floss to get the badges off the car because as you, some of you guys may remember or may not remember, on the Mark III Golf I used a sort of a spatula thing and ended up scratching the paint. Now I actually care about what the paint's going to look like on this, so I'm using dental floss. I've seen people do it before, they sort of go underneath it and just sort of take it off like that. And then this, whether you can see it or not, is like a glass bung for where the rear wiper would go. So take the rear wiper off. Most people put like a rubber one there, but you can buy these for like 15 quid or something and it should just make the window look completely glassy over. Obviously you'll still be able to see the circle and stuff, but we should make it look pretty good, a nice Euro look, which is which is the way I like to do my cars, especially with the VW. I mean, that's kind of what it's made for. So uh, I think we'll start with the dental floss because that'll be the easiest one to start with. Yes, let's get it done. I've never actually taken a badge off like this before. I know you're supposed to use, like some people use a hairdryer and stuff to uh, try and get these off, but I've seen people do it with dental floss. So, well, I'll see how it goes. I've never actually done it like this before. But uh, in theory, it should work because you can get your teeth in it. And then you end up snapping the dental floss. That's perfect. Exactly what I needed right now. I mean, yeah, it is actually technically getting through the badges, but not quite as quickly as I would have liked. Oh no, it's getting there. Fuck, try and yank it off. It's gonna take me forever to get all this gunk off, but that's a good start. I think I'll carry on by myself rather than uh, make ah, my knees. Make you guys watch every single second of it, because that would be quite annoying. I'm playing with new settings on the camera and uh, it's a bit of a learning curve, let's put it that way. Right, I'll catch up with you guys once I've got everything off. Everything off, there we go. dental floss actually worked better than I thought it would. It did eventually, you know, get the buttons off, but um, it kind of resulted in what I was expecting to do because obviously I've done this before in other cars and it's left obviously all like, the sticky stuff that's been on there since the car was made. Um, it's still left on there so you can still see it, it says Golf GTI on it, but um, that's going to take quite a while to do because obviously it's all the sticky stuff so you've got to pick it off. But it's just getting all this stuff off which I'm not going to show you guys because this is going to take quite a long time you don't see me picking off each bit of gunk oh yes I'm sure a, uh, a hair dryer or something would make a better difference to getting that off cleaner than I actually did but I keep staring at the screen I need to stop staring at the screen and also I need to work out these settings for the brightness because it's a bit all over the place at the moment, I'm kind of working out new stuff and all that sort of thing, but uh, I'm going to leave you guys to it and, oh Jesus, and pick out all the uh, all the little bits and pieces, I'm so overexposed, and uh, we'll go from there. Right, so after spending way, way too long trying to get those off, obviously my hands are now completely ruined trying to pick off each little bit, um, obviously if I'd used a hairdryer or something or followed the rules that most of the people on the internet say, I probably would have been done and it's not quite as dark as it was but to be fair it's actually looking quite nice um, considering obviously it is a free modification I haven't had to pay any money to do it I've just had to nick some dental floss and that's it but it just looks so much cleaner I just it just makes it look so much nicer just not having obviously if you look really closely you might be able to see some sort of slight bits because obviously the paint under here was brand new <laughs> when those bits were put on but it just looks so much nicer without those bits now we're going to try and attempt to get this bugger off which might take a bit more because you've got to take off bits of plastic and one day I'll uh, get this rid of this bit because it's all rusted up and chipped and not very nice but <laughs> she looks so much nicer I can't believe it I think it's one of my favourite mods of all time just because of how cheap it is and how much better it makes it with the cup makes of cup head obviously I'm a big fan of Euro look very clean sort of minimalist but obviously still lowered wheels everything which I will eventually get to but obviously it's just sort of the starting block with the car you know 
so many more things I want to get done. So uh, we need to try and get started on this uh, rear wiper, getting this off. And uh, yes, I'm not sure how this is going to work. Cause I've never done it on this car before, so it could be a bit of trial and error, but uh, we'll give it a go. There we are. And that bit pulls out, so that's step one done. But that bit of plastic off does make things a little bit easier. Day. If that camera falls off, the YouTube video is completely broken, so I hope it stays on there. Right, so I bring the set with me where the actual socket thing doesn't work, so I know it's very zoomed in and looking terrible, but uh, I'm going to try and do it without a socket. So I'm going to try and sort of attach these together in a way to make a socket. It has worked before, but uh, I just forgot the, so the socket thing. This thing. It doesn't work. You can tighten it up, but you can't loosen anything. So it's kind of useless. I should have brought my other voice crack. I should have brought the other, the other one of these I have, which I didn't. So we'll try and use my genius solution. It won't work, but. There we go. Oh, it just looks so much cleaner. Obviously, it's still got a bit of a, a bit of a stub which I want to get rid of and fill that hole with the, the glass thing that I've got inside but uh, that looks so much nicer <laughs> I love it I just love how clean it is I'm just obsessed with Euro looks and VWs and stuff we're getting one step closer so now is the difficult bit we've got to get the plastic off from underneath the boot to get to the bolts which are holding that stubby bit onto the outside oh jeez holding the stubby bit onto the outside so that bit could take a while but uh, we'll see how it goes but I wasn't filming because I'm a bit of an idiot so I kind of just went straight towards it and then forgot I actually needed to film this bit so I managed to get my, my filming skills today are terrible I haven't filmed in like four or five days I've just been waiting on car parts and I just haven't filmed I'm just a bit, bit a bit rusty so I keep looking at the screen as well so I managed to get the uh, plastic off it wasn't too bad, just got a clip holding it in. I did get a bit stumped by these, because these were being held in and stopping it getting out. But underneath there, if you can see, there's two holes. One over there and one over that side as well, which are holding the screws in to hold onto the thing. So I managed to get it all off on the uh, on the inside. So we've got one, two, one, two, three, holding that bit in. So I'll unplug that, probably just tape up the wires so they're not going to catch fire on anything. Oh, there we go. One, two, three. It's a bit blurry. Take these wires out, take this off, and then we should get through to the, uh, the other side of the window, and then we can block it off. It doesn't mean obviously the wipe's not going to work, but I'm pretty sure you guys have already guessed that. So I'll get on with that, and we shouldn't be far off. Yeah, I do apologise if this video is not that good. I haven't filmed in like a couple of days, and it's all just been a bit rusty. You know, I've been waiting on car parts, and just there's nothing I can really do. I'm just waiting for videos. So if this doesn't go up, then obviously you guys aren't going to see it. But if it does go up, I do apologise. My filming's a bit out of sorts at the moment but um, I'll get back to it soon so let's just carry on with with the ruining the boot and make sure the wiper doesn't work genius I've managed to get the old the, the motor for the wiper out obviously you can see the hole which goes through to the window which is what we need to fill up I'm not sure how we're going to do this, but uh, we'll work it out as we get there. We've got these wires as well, I'm just going to tape up the ends quickly. And you can't really see that because it's quite dark now. Tape those up because I don't want any water or anything to them. So if I want to put the window wiper back, it should all work. But we've got to figure out the hole. The other thing I've noticed is the, uh, the locking thing is a little bit loose. And I would tie it down, but I haven't got the right bloody things for it. I, can tr I might try that quickly, but... Uh, we need to sort this guy out. I managed to get the uh, this rubber grommet out of the hole. So there's literally just a glass hole right there. So we don't need this really. But now we've got my uh, glass replacement thing, which you can see. Also, I was going to go for a rubber one, but obviously, hopefully, when you put this on, it should just make it look like one clean bit of glass. So I'm trying to do this one-handed and uh, stick it up there just to see what it looks like. I'm not going to slam the boot shut because it's not actually held in properly. I'm just going to do it gently. But that looks so much nicer. Obviously it's not quite perfect. It's not even clean either but 
you know, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Obviously, uh, on the instructions, it does say to uh, on the instructions it does say to get um, sealant to hold it in, which I don't actually have right now. I will do that, you know, another time because you guys really aren't that interested in uh, watching me sealing up a bit of glass that goes onto the onto the windscreen but I'm gonna put a bit of tape there just to hold it there temporarily now because obviously we want to keep it waterproof still because there are live cables in the boot there and I don't really want them getting ruined because if I ever come to set I want to put the rear wiper on or whatever I, you know, I need to be able to do that so um, I'm gonna leave that at that it just makes oh, I'm just so happy with how the boot looks now it just looks so much cleaner so much nicer you've not got anything holding it back it's so much cleaner now obviously it would look a lot nicer if it was you know a little bit lower but um <laughs> lows will come soon enough obviously suspension for this is not too expensive we got rid of the that we got rid of that and it's just one step towards it i think it looks so much cleaner already just without all that stuff holding it back you know what? i'm pretty happy so uh, i think what i'm gonna do now is uh end this video here this video has been an absolute haphazard job whether i actually decide to upload it or not i don't know because my filming skills today have just been terrible just waiting on parts i've been waiting on parts for like the last couple of days you know just been ordering bits and pieces for this car and i wanted to get out and do it and i kind of didn't think about filming it at the same time obviously i wanted to film it but uh I didn't think about filming it, so I kind of messed it all up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this anyway. It's only a little bit, uh, a little modification, but it's uh, the first step in modifying this car. And I'm actually really happy to be back to modifying cars. Obviously, having that BMW was lovely, but I couldn't do many modifications to it because I just, I just wasn't happy about spending little money on it. But on this car, I actually quite like spending little bits of money. Nothing too, you know, too much that's going to break the bank or anything like that. So before my arm dies and I make this video even worse. <laughs> Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, there'll be plenty more videos modifying this car. Hopefully we'll get it low within the next month or two, which will be uh, pretty awesome because I need, to, I need to have a low car back. I missed the Mark III, but uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much and I'll see all of you lot next time.